Hello everyone, it's Big Papa. Um, this is kind of a my story um video today. I really want to explain why I like YouTube and why I write, produce, make, rap my own videos. Um, I've really known music since I was like seven, and that's hard. But I've when I was seven or eight, I started writing my thoughts down. I, uh, I realized that I wasn't going to make it in the world, but maybe I could make it as a songwriter. Um, and that kind of influenced me. Maybe I can do this. Maybe there's a possibility. Because I saw others, like Iggy, like Justin Bieber, I, I don't like him, but he's one of them, um, I've seen a lot of people, Macklemore's one, everyone knows Thrift Shop, um, uh, <laughs> I mean, there's always a possibility, there always is, um, I don't do this for money. I really don't. I do this for me. And for my people. For my fans. For my crew. I didn't know the name Big Papa until I started freshman year in high school. Back in middle school, I was just Matt Lance. I, uh... First rap song I ever listened to was Exhibit. Get Your Walk On. I believe it was. And that was heavy for me. Then it was Eminem. Then it was um, Jay-Z. And then it was old school. It was Tupac. It was Biggie. And I realized most of their lyrics was kind of what I written. At the time. Um, I didn't make any beats when I was in middle school or high school. Um, it was different. It was sure as hell different. Um, it wasn't what I thought it would be. In high school, I was a small kid. Which is weird to say because I'm Big Papa. Yes. That's why I changed my channel back to Matt Lentz, because, I mean, yes, don't get me wrong, Big Pop is still alive, still rapping, still doing his thing, but it was more along the lines of, I wanted my own identity. Everyone was like, oh, you're copying off of Biggie Smalls, and, you know, you don't think you can do it. Well, you're white, so we know you can't do it. I'm like, What? Um, but I got into a deep depression when I was 13, 13, 14. I realized that maybe it wasn't worth living anymore. My uh, dad was in jail, and you'd know that through the songs that I've written. <coughs> I was in jail. Yep, I got put in jail. My dad was in jail. I got put in jail. Um, it was different. It was a hell of a lot different. Um, my dad got put in jail. I realized that he wasn't really there. I mean, he wrote me, yes. I still have some of his letters. But it's not like he was physically there. Every time I got a letter. Honestly, you want to know the truth? I didn't really read them half the time. Because of the fact that I just didn't see him as my father. I just saw him as dad. Like, he helped me. 
be born, but that's it. I, uh... I thought music was a way out. <laughs> and that's when I really started getting into writing. I wrote a few raps every now and then. But when I was 13, 14, 15, that's when it really hit me heavy that I've got a story and that I can do something with my life. I thought that it was just an idiotic thing to say that I'm a rapper. And I still think it's stupid because people are like, oh, you're a rapper? Do you make any money? No. Hell, I still haven't made any money. Through all the views, all the subscriptions, maybe I've made $3, but YouTube doesn't really count that unless you make more. It's just three bucks to that. I really, really saw a downtrod in my family. Because my mom was the only one in the house that I looked up to. Um, my mom met this guy and he gave a roof over his head. So I uh I was thankful for that. I I'm not gonna say his name because of what I'm about to say next. Um He did something wrong. Let's just leave it at that. He did something wrong and me and my mom moved out with my brother, and we realized that she was struggling. She uh, quit drinking, started drinking again after all that. Uh, hell, when I turned 18, my mom was so excited because that meant I can go get her cigarettes. I mean, yes, it meant I was a little bit closer to moving out, but at the same time, it was just a birthday to her. It was more of an errand for me to run. I, uh... When I was looking at YouTube through artist eyes, I realized that I mean, I'm not trying to be a hater, but most of them suck. I mean, plain out, fat out, sucked. A whole bunch of rappers on here are making it big. Making it real big. And I wasn't making nothing. I'm still not making nothing. I put my graduation money into a microphone software a laptop that I had um I started doing what I do and I thought I was a big shot don't get me wrong I thought I was the goddamn shit cause I'd walk outside and people would be like oh it's big papa I thought I was a shit Little did I know, I hit 20. Got locked up in jail for something. And I was in there for six hours. I know that's not a lot of time. I know people are in there for years and years and years. People go in and out of the system every day. I know. But in those six hours, I started thinking, because they pulled me away from my job. I was on job. I was at my work. I was on break. On fucking break. And little did I know that police were there. Because I was the only one in the break room. 
um, I realized that I needed to change while I was in there. I realized that my life is going down a bad path. I, I'll admit, I started smoking weed heavy. Well, not heavy, but every now and then. Um, I quit cigarettes uh, for about four months because I was nervous. I was worried that something would happen. Um, I had my job when I got out, thankfully. Uh, and thanks, thankfully to my uh, girlfriend's parents, they knew someone that could get me out. Had they not, who knows? Uh, but I realized that it was it was a life changer for me. I didn't want to work no shitty ass job. I didn't want to do forty hours a week some bullshit job, make it ten dollars an hour. It was stupid. It was stupid. I wanted to be my own boss. I still do. But through everything, through the darkness, through the pain, through the suffering, through the heartbreak, through the through the drugs, through the alcohol, through the smoking, I realized it's never been about me. It's never been about my choices. It's never been about what I want. It's always been looking further. In 10 years, what do I think I'll be doing? I don't know. In 20 years, what will I be doing? I don't know. I'll be 40. Fuck it. I don't know. In... 30 years, what I think I'll be doing. Hopefully, I'll be retired. On my own business, be retired. And just chill. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy. I've realized that over the years. It's not easy. People say, do you want to be a grown-up? When you're a kid? You know, you want to act like you're growing up. You want to act like you know what you're doing. No one knows what the fuck they're doing. There's so many people I know that, from high school, from middle school, that don't know anything. That have no future, no job, just sitting on the couch. I've realized I don't want to be that all the time, though. I've realized that it's not up to me to choose my destiny. It's not up to me to do everything that I want to do in my life.